Uh, SEC talk. Let's uh, let's go to Mississippi State, 31, Kentucky, 17. And, uh, brother, uh, Kentucky road woes continue. You cannot turn the football over like that and expect to win a ball game. Like, I just, uh, the, the postgame win expectancy for Mississippi State, by the way, 100%. With those numbers, 100% of the yeah. time, they win yeah. that ball game because it, it's not just turnovers. It's that they were able to move the football at will. On, on Kentucky's defense. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know what to make of it. This, uh, it, Kentucky had been the better football team for the majority of the season. And you get into Listen, this spot. Mississippi State, Mississippi State is going to have the weirdest resume when the seasons are with. There's a world where Mississippi State is a 6-6 six and six football team, all right? And they're going to have wins over A&M. On the road, they're going to have a win over North Carolina, which is a top two or three team in the ACC, yeah, NC State, and yeah. <laughs> and the second best team in the West in the East. Yeah, that's what their resume is going to be. The weird. This is a team that might barely make a bowl game, and they're going to have three of the best wins in the country. Total yardage here, state four thirty eight <laughs> to two sixteen. As um, weird as hell, right? It's it is the weirdest. Thing. Will Rogers, by the way, very many people discussing Will oh, Rogers. No, um, they shouldn't, Gary. They shouldn't look at his overall resume. They, oh. they should. What he did last night was amazing and special, but what he did like the two weeks before that were god awful. So, if I, I mean, if I told you that he have you already looked up the stats on this? <laughs> I, well, I saw him last night. I watched a lot of this game. Okay, I, saw, okay. I watched the games with Mississippi State guys and all these guys. Yeah, watching the game, I did not realize exactly how absurd the numbers are. It just yeah. a guess. How many guesses would you say, uh, or how many how many incompletions would you say if I told you uh, he had thirty nine pass attempts? Well, yeah, I mean, it, so because I've seen him play football all year, I would I would have thought he was probably sixty percent. Okay, so I would I would you know sixty five percent maybe, but that'd have been it. No, the fact that the fact that he had more touchdowns than com- incompletions, pretty good. That's well, so he. Well, no, not touchdown, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, no, no, no. He uh, ninety two percent right? completion percentage. He was thirty six out of thirty nine, three hundred forty four yards, and one touchdown. Uh, Will Levis had three inter, uh, yeah, interceptions in this game. Interception. This was. This is the best game Mississippi State played all year. Yes. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Even better than the the game they played against A and M on the road. I had so many state friends tell me, oh, we finally ran the ball because they ran the ball for three touchdowns. Yeah, but their total combined rushing yards were like 70 yards, 60 yards. Yeah. Like, they didn't run the ball. They ran the ball when they got into goal line situations, which is what you're supposed to do, okay? When when it's first and, you know, in four, you should be able to rush that in. You shouldn't have to throw the football all the time. They did it. They did really well. Yes. Yes, they did. So, State, another, another one of those teams you talked about, weird resume, that's – this is exactly what I expect yeah. from a Mike Leach football team, though. You know? Yeah. Uh, like, that's, this is exactly yeah. what... I agree. Like, if, if there was a coach and you said, I'm going to give you this weird-ass resume, who's the head coach? Mm, I, I wouldn't get more than three options through before I said Mike Leach's name. Mississippi State, by the way, is 3-2 and two in the league. They are 5-3 and three overall. I know. They're, they're scheduled schedule remaining. Weird, uh, <laughs> they've how, got Auburn. They've got Arkansas. they got Ole Miss. How, and they got yeah, also they, ran. They're playing at Arkansas this week. How mm-hmm. much fun is that game going to be? It's going to be a great, and that's going to be a uh, fun game. I, there's a world where Mississippi State gets beat by 20 because they just they play unbelievable, and then they forget how to play football. Here's the crazy thing about this Mississippi State team: this is the truth. If they don't have the fuckery that happens at Memphis, that's a six and this, two football team. This is a six and two football team with an unbelievable resume. They're a top 15 team. Honestly, like it wasn't just that they they lost to LSU. Basically, because of two explosive plays that they gave up on defense. That's it. That's, like they, they had two fumbles. But, like that's right. But they played bad against them. Like they didn't put up any offense against LSU either. LSU shouldn't have won that game. In hindsight, we're a terrible, bad football team. But but Mississippi State played like shit in that game. Also, it's not yes. like like something unlucky happened to them. They played god awful on offense that night. Well, it's, it, it, the same can be said for the Memphis game because they gave up four hundred some odd yards to. You're, you're to, right, but if you don't have the fuckery that happens, yeah, then you probably still, don't lose that game. They win that. They win that football game. This is top fifteen ranked team. This is why I get so angry with some of these calls going so poorly. Is you don't realize how that can completely throw off the perception of a team. Yes, yes, I I, I agree with you. 
I agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.